Hello everybody and welcome to another top 5 board gaming video. It's the beginning of the month so that means it's time to talk about new and upcoming games, this time in the brand new and redone background. So first and foremost I do want to say please let me know what you think of this because I'm going to have it for the next few weeks and let me know if you want to keep it or if you want to go somewhere else. I would love to hear your opinions on it. But that said, it is the beginning of November and that means that it is time for some updates. As always these are going to be games that have either recently been released or are slated to be released relatively soon and another five that I'm super excited about so without further ado first off let me know what your favorites are and what you're looking forward to and secondly let's go ahead and get started with my number five at number five, I've got Century, Golem Edition, Endless World. While it's a mouthful of a title, this is an interesting thing because Century, as it started, was Spice Road. Now we've got Golem Edition, and it's just been expanding and expanding and expanding. Endless World is kind of unique in that it actually allows you to link together every single Golem Edition that we've seen so far so that you can have a massive game, kind of similar to Axis and Allies and what they did with Pacific and Europe. So I'm really excited to see especially the larger version of the game but the fact that they're building up on it is really exciting as well and constantly adding new features but that said there is a lot of it going on so that's why it's lower on the list century endless world my number five at number four, I've got D&D Adventure Begins. I am really excited for this one for one main reason. It is a great way to introduce new players to D&D. Now granted, we had other games like Castle Ravenloft and Legend of Drizzt and all of those kinds of things that were based off of D&D 4th Edition. D&D Adventure Begins is meant to be a lot more beginner friendly, which I really love about it and that's why it's on this particular list. I'm curious to see exactly how it plays out. I've not played it myself but still I'm excited for it and that's why it's my number four. At number three, I've got Time Stories, Midsummer Night. This is the latest official expansion to the series, and as always, I love Time Stories. It's a great puzzle-solving, logical deduction game. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to play it nearly as much as I would have liked to because my gaming group has been quarantined and all of this kind of stuff, but still, seeing new Time Stories is always super exciting, and I'm really looking forward to the era that we're gonna be able to see with it, and that's why it's my number three. At number two, I've got the search for Planet X. Infamously, Planet X was supposedly a planet that was outside our solar system that was affecting the gravitational pull of some of the other things. And in this particular case, we are astronomers going out and trying to find it. I love the fact that this is a relatively hard science game. It also involves a lot of logical deduction, which I am a huge fan of. And because it's a worker placement, that means it's probably gonna have a decent amount of replayability with it as well. All in all, seems like it's a great game and right up my personal alley search for planet x my number two at number one, I've got Dune Imperium. This is kind of an interesting one because we relatively recently had the remake of the original Dune board game, but this, Dune Imperium, is a completely different one. It does have a lot of familiar mechanics and similar ideas and stuff like that, but it's very much redone, it's very much revamped, and it has a lot of mechanics, social intrigue, and everything and anything that you would expect from a game based off of such an epic series of novels, not to mention the new movie coming up relatively soon, all of this kind of stuff. I'm really excited simply because I'm in the middle of reading the novels, and so I can't wait to see how it plays on the actual table, especially because they've got all of the houses, all of the intrigue, and all of that sort of thing going for it. Very excited. Dune Imperium, my number one. Well, everybody, that's it for me. I hope that you enjoyed seeing another five games that I'm really excited to either see coming out or that have recently been released. As always, I need to know what you guys think. What are games that have been recently released or are upcoming that you're really excited about? Put them in the comments below. And as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, what do you think of the new little setup that I've got here? Do you prefer it? Do you prefer the old one? Do you have any suggestions? Please let me know anything and everything because I would love to hear it all. 
That said, if you're still in quarantine, please stay safe. We are going to beat this stupid virus. Eventually it will be gone, but we don't know exactly how long it'll take. So please stay safe. Keep your family, your friends, your relatives, everybody safe, all of that kind of stuff as always. And of course, if you haven't done so already, please take a look at my various social media pages where you can interact with myself and my channel in a bunch of really fun ways. But once again, stay safe. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.